I am Reba Hollingsworth. Here's some of the day's top stories. An emotional plea presented to the Hanover School Board. Parents saying their daughter is a victim of sexual assault and battery. The parents allege that the incident happened at Bell Creek Middle School a week ago. They claim additional harassment happened by other students after she reported the incident. The Hanover County Sheriff's Office confirms they are investigating the incident and that since it is an alleged sexual assault and involves juveniles, they can't release any further information. A lawyer representing Washington Commander's owner Dan Snyder says he will not testify in front of Congress at a hearing next week about the team's alleged toxic workplace environment. A letter sent to the House Committee on Oversight and Reform explained Snyder was concerned about the scope of the questioning given multiple investigations that are ongoing. It also cited a scheduling conflict preventing him from appearing in person. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has accepted the invitation to testify and informed the committee on Wednesday that he'll appear virtually. All right, Tom. All right, good morning to you. We've got a lot of clouds to start. We've had a couple little showers here in the metro and maybe a stray storm throughout the morning, but a lot of those were east, northern neck area. So some morning showers will give way to partly sunny skies and then some afternoon and evening, even evening, yes, into the evening and early overnight thunderstorms. So those eastern showers fade away later this morning. Partly sunny skies, kind of warm again today, upper 80s, low 90s, and then a few scattered showers and storms develop late afternoon and through the evening. There you go, 10 o'clock tonight, 11 to midnight to 2 a.m., and then those fade off into the early morning hours tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to be a hot day. So we're looking at about 90 today, 96 tomorrow, low-level threat for severe weather the next few days. And then a few late-day thunderstorms tomorrow. That's going to lead to a lot pleasant or a lot more comfortable weather this weekend.